Arika Misha and today I'm in the kitchen and I'm gonna cook just some simple steak burritos with some pretty much leftover ingredients I have in the house so all right I do have some mission flour tortillas uh, pretty much you can use these as soft tacos whatever you want to use them for I love this brand the mission brand is so nice and soft and I'm gonna grill these up to your grill those up all right, and of course, y'all know it's been marinating. Y'all already know how I do my meats. It's just some um, New York steak strips, and I just cubed it up, you know, cut it in nice little cubes. Ooh, look at that goodness. I put some onion, uh, herb, garlic, seasons, regular seasons, you know, the all with all the seasons mixed in. I seasoned it with that. It smells so good. I'm so ready to grill that up. I got some salted butter as you guys can see salted sweet cream butter yes yes sweet and salty yes that's what i'm doing that's what i'm using y'all and i got some spice world um minced garlic i like how the spice world garlic comes in this little cute little container now i like this instead of that little small glass jar i used to come in i like this little squeezable bottle squeeze it right on out got some leftover white rice five minute quick rice and I got some shredded mozzarella cheese and cheddar cheese. Just gonna make like a simple y'all see. Make like I'm gonna grill the meat with some rice. I wish I had some corn, but I ain't really got no corn in the house, but it don't matter though. So our steak burrito is gonna be steak and rice with some cheese wrapped in the, the uh, tortilla shell. It's gonna be good y'all. Y'all gonna see. So let's go ahead and throw this together. This is a little quick meal, quick through the week meal. All right, you done worked all day. Nobody got time for that. Let go. Okay, y'all. Let me go ahead and get y'all into the pan. Zoomed into the pan so y'all can see how it's going to go down. Let me cut my stove fan off for now. I won't need that on for now. So, I'm going to go ahead. I already got the stove on for my pan and my water over there for my rice. I'm going to wait for that rice, the uh, water to get boiling over there. Let me get my butter in here. Certain things I like using the sweet butter for. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this butter to get this, um, that's like what? One, two, three tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna go ahead and get that melted up so we can get this steak all sauteed up, chai pan fried anyway. But yes, that looks like enough butter for us. I'm gonna get my steak in there. I think I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna do one more. Yep, I'm gonna do one more tablespoon. Yeah, I think that's plenty. That is plenty. So we're gonna go ahead and let that marinate, get all buttery. Hold on, y'all, y'all, they gotta see now. Okay. All right, we're gonna go ahead and let that melt. Uh-oh, uh -oh, y'all, hold on. Come on, refrigerator, move out of the way. I'm gonna need that butter handy in case I need to get the butter, get to the butter again. All right, y'all, let me get y'all stable. All right, now I'm also gonna throw a little garlic in there. We're gonna throw a little garlic in there. Just a little bit, not too much, just a little bit for flavor. Just a little bit for flavor, just a little bit. I guess that's like a tablespoon too, a tablespoon of garlic. Let's get this all together. Now, before my butter and my uh, garlic get all mixed in together, I'm gonna throw my meat in there because I want my meat to soak in all that garlic and butter. I wanna throw it in there all late now. Let's get our steak thrown in there. Oh yeah, this gonna be good. Oh, these gonna be some good steak burritos. Get all my stuff I paid for in there, all my stuff. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Yes. All right. Looking good, y'all. Looking good, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Okay. All right. Looking good. And you know what? Um, sauteing it like this does not take long because it's thin steak strips that I cut up. I'm gonna get them all mixed in, make sure they get the butter. Make sure they get all that butter, cause butter does make it taste better. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
Make sure they get all the butter and the garlic all in there. While they cooking, soaking it all in. Make sure you all can see. Oh, yes. Yes. We're going to get that mixed up and then we're going to let it sit and cook. All right. Okay, all right, so we got our water boiling. Let's go ahead and pour our rice in. This is about two cups of rice. So I did two cups of water. And like I said, this is the quick five minute rice. Let me see, hold on y'all. That's the steak cooking. Over here to the rice, I poured my um rice in. Okay, all right. Boiling water, we pour it two cups of water in here let the water come to a boil then we put our two cups of rice in there cover it up move it to the side and let it sit for five minutes put that timer on five minutes it's done I love that rice quick and easy see you sit it to the side and that's it and y'all see that lime juice I got over there I'm gonna add lime juice to the rice oh yes it's gonna be good you know how when you go to Moles, I don't know if y'all have been to Moles, but it's like a Kind of like a, uh, I don't know if y'all familiar with the molds, but it's kind of like a, um, what's that Chipotle kind of place? But um, when you walk in, they say, welcome to molds. But anyway, uh, they have the regular rice, the lemon flavored rice. So I'm going to flavor the rice with lemon. I think that is going to be good. So give it, give the rice a little lemon flavor with the steak and the burrito, y'all. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all is not ready. And see, see how the steak's getting done? It don't take long for this steak to get cooked. It's not taking long. That butter and garlic, oh y'all smell so good. I wish y'all could smell it. Wait, hold on, hold on. There y'all go. Fanning the smell to y'all. Oh, don't that smell good, y'all? That smells amazing. Ooh -wee. Smells so good. Mm, mm, mm. Grilling that steak up. You don't want to overcook your steak. You overcook your steak, it gets all rough. I can't stand tough steak. Don't give me no tough steak. I ain't going to eat it. Yes. And see, the butter cooking into the steak helps the steak be juicy. It helps your steak stay nice and juicy and soft. And oh, so good. But no good. <laughs> but yeah, look at that. Oh, you got them chunks of garlic on the meat, cooking down in the meat. Oh, yeah. We got that all stirred up. So we're going to get that steak a minute to get all cooked up. We want that to cook up all nice and brown. By the time all them juices and butter and all that good stuff get through soaking in and cooking in that, that's going to be good. Mm, mm, mm. Let me get a small piece. So we got this small piece somewhat done. Yeah, this small piece done. Let me blow it. Ha! Oh yeah. Mm, that's so good. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my God, that butter and garlic. It's got to cook a little bit more though. Cook a little bit more. Mmm, 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 mmm. That's good, y'all. That's real, real good. I mean, juicy. Okay. We're going to let that steak just... Mmm, I'm licking the pork, y'all. I'm going to let that steak, I'm going to let that just cook all, let the butter and the garlic cook all down in there, y'all. Mmm. That rice should be done in about two minutes on our timer over there oh my goodness something quick and easy you know a little leftovers you got sitting around the house y'all throw it in a burrito just throw it in there child but i'm also gonna pan grill those um taco shells y'all see it burrito shells whatever you want to use it for taco burritos whatever tomato tomato but i'll be back y'all i'm gonna go ahead and let that steak cook all down our rice should be done in a minute so i'm gonna go ahead and get everything together so y'all can see oh the next thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna show y'all me grilling the uh, soft taco shells. Y'all see how I do that. I'll be back, y'all. Okay, guys. Just wanted to come and show y'all the rice real quick. As y'all can see, our rice is nice and fluffy. I love it. Cooked and light. Put it in the hot water. Five minutes. It's done. Now, my lime juice. This is the lime juice that I'm using. Any old lime juice will do. It don't matter. Just want to give our rice a little lime flavor. Ooh, take the rice to a whole nother level. I'll put about... About four drops in it. I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to do too much. 
Don't do too much. Like I always say. Give them an inch, they'll take a yard. So, let's get this stirred up. I'm going to taste it and see how it tastes. It smells delicious with that lime in it. I don't want to put too much in Let me taste it. Well, that's good. I need a little bit more lime, though. Let me put about four or five more drops in there. Because we want to taste the lime flavor. You can do lemon, too, but the lime rice is delicious. When I get my burritos and um, my burritos from Moe's, I always get the lime flavored rice. It's so good. With that steak, the lime flavored rice with the steak is so good. I get the um, burrito. It's called the home wrecker. Ain't nobody's home wrecker. But all the stuff that comes in the home wrecker is what I like. It just will happen to be called the home wrecker. The devil is a lie. But if y'all know what I'm talking about, y'all been to Moe's. Look at the menu. There's a home wrecker on there. Okay. That's good. Hold on. I'm going to put a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. That's it for the line. I don't want to do too much. I ain't putting no butter in here. Uh-uh. The lime is enough and the rice is already fluffy. Nice and fluffy. Okay. So we got our rice ready. Mm -hmm. That's good. Let me show y'all the steak. The steak is nice and juicy. Look at that steak. Mm-mm. Mm -mm, y'all look at that steak. I'm gonna bring it in. Oh, it's all nice and juicy y'all mm, 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 mm. Look at that piece right there y'all. I think I think I should taste that piece. Let me see. Let me just taste it mm. Oh my god y'all it's so juicy buttery garlicky With a lime rice in my burrito mm. Y'all it's nice and juicy mm, mm, mm. Okay y'all okay enough of that All right Last thing we want to do, let me move y'all over here. Last thing we want to do is come over here. Get y'all in the pan. Okay. Let me get my soft taco out. We're just going to do a little soft real, nothing special. Don't want to do too much. A little soft real. Let me get one of the soft tacos out. Let's see. Okay. Get one out. Let's get our soft taco out. And it fits this pan perfectly. Look at that. Fits the pan perfectly. We're going to put a little, little heat on there. A little heat. Let me show y'all a little quick, easy way of doing it. Just to get your tacos, you know, browned. You can use the, y'all know I love my pan spray. Just spray a little bit on the pan. And spray your other side like that. So I sprayed the pan. I put it down. Y'all saw how I did it. And we just going to let that brown on that other side. And I'm going to flip this side over. Let it get all roasty and toasty. Got to be careful. Now. I don't need my nails melting. <laughs> I done had that happen. Melt the nails down. You got to be careful with these press ons now. Y'all know I love my press ons But at the end of the day, they is press on nails. And I be cooking. I got to be careful around this heat. So... Yeah, we're going to let that get all hot. And then we're going to flip it over like that so it can get all brown. It won't take you two seconds. I can have about six of these done in like two seconds. So I'm going to let it get all nice and hot. The stove getting hot. I'm going to show y'all. I'm just going to brown it on both sides. I was just showing y'all how I spray a little oil. Brown both sides. Until both sides is brown and that's it. Now, when I come back, the grand finale is going to be me fixing my home record, home record, homemade home record. Y'all don't laugh. I'll be back. Okay, y'all. About getting everything done, y'all see I got the uh, some of the soft tacos I already cooked over there. I just wanted to come and show y'all real quick how I'm cooking them. Sprayed my pan like I showed y'all before. Sprayed my pan and you see how they get all nice and brown. And that only takes like 10 seconds. Got to make sure you got your oven at a medium heat. And I just take my hand and just flip it over like that. Make sure you're getting everything all sprayed up. Let me zoom y'all in. Y'all got to see them. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all know that's going to be good. Y'all know. Let me, let me get y'all. Y'all know doggone well that's going to be delicious. And y'all like when they start bubbling up like that. Ooh, start bubbling up. That means it's ready. That means it's ready. It's ready. Look at that. That's ready, boo. That's ready. Let me flip that back over. It's hot. 
Got to be a professional. Got to be a professional. Don't be playing around. Y'all know I'm a professional. Ain't got my culinary license, but that's all right. I've been cooking all my life. That's a license enough. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, y'all see it. Mm, mm, mm. Let me get that off this pan. All right, y'all see how I did? Y'all see how I got them all over looking all toasted and roasted. All right, y'all. I'll be back. I'm going to be fixing my burrito. Okay, guys. Let's go ahead and get our steak burrito all fixed. Let's grab one of our nice, softly grilled taco shells. All right. So, let me go ahead. Let me get a fork so I can get some of that. You know what I'm going to do? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put my meat down first. Let's get some meat on here. Make sure y'all can see me fixing it. Okay. Let's just shift this over there. All right, okay. Let's get some steak on here. You know, you can make it a burrito, you can make it a taco, however you want to make it. However you choose to make it. All right, so we got some meat down. I think that's enough. I don't want to do too much. All right, because I still got to add rice and cheese and all that. All right. Add our rice. Ooh-wee. Something nice and quick. And oh, so easy. Let me zoom y'all in. I gotta zoom y'all into the plate. Hold on, y'all. Taking y'all in so y'all can really get the full effect. Okay. Now, as far as cheese, I'm doing both of the cheeses. We got the orange cheese on that, a cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese. I'm gonna do a little sprinkle of the white cheese. All that's going on now, boo -boo. All of that is going on there. And y'all already know, the star of the show, don't act like y'all don't know who it is. Parsley. Yes. I know it's been a minute since y'all seen Parsley. <laughs> but Parsley say, here I go. Parsley say, ain't going nowhere, boo-boo. Ain't going nowhere. Parsley say, I'm going to be here to stay. And that is, that is our steak burrito. Let me get y'all over here to some light, some good light. Yes. That is our steak burrito. Taco, however you want to do it. Me, I'm going to do it taco style. Let me bring y'all out. Yes. I'm going to do it taco style like this. That's going to be a nice, fat taco. Look at that. Ooh, y'all can't tell me that don't look good. Y'all can't tell me. I won't believe y'all. Look at, look, look at the goodness. Let me turn it around for y'all. Ooh, you can put whatever you want in there. Y'all can put some green. I got green and I got pasta. Y'all can put lettuce in y'all. I ain't doing that today. Uh-uh. Pasta as green as it's gonna get today. Ooh, look at that, y'all. It's big and fat. Ooh, full of steak. Mm 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 mm. I can't even hardly close it up. All right, y'all. Well, y'all seen me do it. You know I did it. I'm finna go ahead and eat. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs>